I started the build by breaking down some massive eight quarter walnut into rough lengths for the tabletop. I do not own a joiner, so I employed my track saw for this task. It takes more time than you think to get these large pieces settled in place, and I don't want to risk the glue setting up before I get everything clamped together. A scrap of plywood, box level, or some random piece of aluminum that I had laying around is the perfect thing to run your circular saw against to get a perfectly straight line to cut. You can see a black and white rough draft of the plans right next to me as I work out the details of cutting these tapered legs for the base, and yes, for everyone outside of North America, they're also in metric. Then, to hold the piece on the sled while I run it through the table saw, I used a few offcuts to make a bridge clamp kind of thing. I think that's a technical term. Now, the piece is securely held to the sled, and since I didn't move the fence, I know that the saw will cut exactly where I want it. All it takes to reuse this setup to get perfectly identical pieces is to back off the screws on the bridge, slide in the offcut, making sure to rotate it 180 degrees, of course, then tightening it back down before running it back through the table saw. So with all the legs and the stretchers cut down, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I want this stretcher to connect to the leg right about here, so it makes this angle here. To hold the domino up at a consistent height, I just set a scrap piece of plywood under the plate, and it gives me a perfect plunge height. Now, the joiner process is super simple. Just make one plunge horizontally into the stretcher with that plywood riser block underneath the domino, then flip the riser block 90 degrees and plunge the domino vertically. And to make sure that there is proper clamping pressure, I use these clamping blocks that I made, oh my gosh, like two years ago, to draw perfect pressure across the joint. I find that these are one of the easiest ways to attach tabletops. Just grab a Forstner bit that is slightly larger than the figure eight fastener and chuck it up in your drill. Then drill out a small area that's biased towards one of the edges of the interior braces. Afterwards, drill a small pilot hole for the screw to make sure that you don't split that interior brace. Now you can drive the screw in to secure the figure eight fastener and you can see that it is freely able to pivot side to side. Edge profiles are entirely up to you and your style. I gave a few samples to my girlfriend, and this is the one that we mutually agreed looked the best. I followed the exact same steps as before, where I spread the oil out with the squeegee thing, and then abraded it with a white scotch brake pad. Uh, well, I guess that's it. The dining table is officially done. So let's check out some of those beauty shots. After two failed attempts at making a dining table, this one is finally the proper size for our apartment. As a reminder, if you want to pick up plans to make this table for yourself, check out the link in the description below. 